hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and i'm creating this video just to make everyone aware that what all type kind of content currently i'm publishing because people people are getting confused like i'm creating a multiple playlist and they are not able to focus on one of the playlist i understood your concern so here are here is the video where i'm going to make things clear so we are currently actively we are working on the uber eats clone app and to end and we are working on one playlist which talks about microservices rest graphql grpc kafka and all so currently if we talk about the uber eats clone app what we have done we have built baseline some services we have created our service gateway service and we also started talking about uh, the front end applications clients had rendered and the servers had rendered app and in the context of the same we have also covered another content uh, which is talking about the cell kit end to end next yes i recently finished one playlist so those playlists are the helper playlist of uh, this major playlist because if i'm building a next yes admin dashboard you should be aware about next yes 13 features if i'm talking about the cell kit app you must be aware of how the cell kit works and then that is the the main agenda that i have covered those playlist in the middle and then we worked on this auth service proxy gateway and the restaurant service these are the some of the things which we are going to build on top of that so whatever i'm covering that uh, that moves around our uber eats clone app and the technology we are using like the next js yes, world kit or even the next js yes, uh, microservices we are building uh, here we are building only the rest api uh, based http protocol based apis simple rest and exposing them through the swagger rest interface and then consuming them but what is next now what what do we have next for the uber eats clone the ci cd because now we have a couple of services auth service gateway service and the restaurant service we are going to build we need to focus on their deployment also like the how we can set up a ci cd through this larna mono repo currently we are using larna we can also use nx and all larna is more than enough how we can deploy them to the netlify or aws or vercel like server side rendered application or the simple react app we will talk about how we can deploy these apis to aws environment so those are some of the the major aspects because if we talk about a simple github repository then it's easy but now we have mono repo which and we have to learn the github actions and how we can deploy the applications to aws cloud through this mono mono repo app through the github actions so that there is also some learning curve for those who are going to watch this for the first time then i will be talking about next js admin dashboard maybe before that in the next video we will talk about next js admin dashboard and we are going to baseline some ui specs so we are going to use a consistent styling across the swell kit admin on the next year next js uh, restaurant dashboard and the swell kit uh, system admin dashboard and then we have a client app which is we are going to write in the react app parallelly i'm also putting some videos on the microservices because when you record the same content you sometimes feel boring and then you thought of okay for some time let's switch the topic so then i started covering some part of the the, the microservices in the next cs we have already covered a simple rest based microservices build a authentication system and then uh, then another playlist is about graphql where i was talking about building the same authentication service with the apollo graphql gateway it's like a housing.com kind of backend we are creating with the auth service home service booking service and then after that i will be planning to create a grpc based microservices multiple microservices which are exposing grpc and we'll connect them through the simple proxy gateway simple rest api gateway not just uh, nginx proxy like stuff and we will talk about the other transport systems uh, which nestjs support like kafka rabbit mq redis tcp because we using that also we can create a microservices so that's uh, another playlist which is which has nothing to do with our uber eats clone here i'm trying to explore known http uh, and uh, known rest platform where we are not using rest api let's say use a grpc trpc or these uh, different transports which uh, nestjs provides so that is like to uh get away from uber eats clone for some times if you want to feel put more another content then this is what i'm using but that is all about microservices so no need to worry about okay that there is uh, some random playlist i'm covering recently i covered a next js and swell kit but that is purely a part of this uber eats clone that moves around here and there about the technologies 
next there will be a uh, uh, maybe a, just a couple of videos where i will be talking about the ci cd because it's really important part how we are using github actions or gitlab uh, ci or uh, jenkins ci or circle ci these are the different ci platforms ci tools which will help you to deploy your application to the target platform that can be netlify virtual or maybe aws aws lambda edge or aws s3 uh, oh, i mean on the cloud it can be azure S, uh, azure aws or the google and then deploying the ui apps which are client side rendered app and server side rendered app to aws you might have heard about that you can deploy the next CS and swell kit app to maybe netlify and virtual but that is also possible on aws platform you can use aws amplify or we can write a lambda edge function uh, that's purely serverless it's like uh, you are writing a lambda which can serve your server side rendered platform and then we will deploy our rest api rest apis we have auth service restaurant service order service card service we are going to build to uh, aws lambda or maybe on aws container because at the end what we need is our rest api deployed somewhere okay that is coming up so there is a total segregation now next part we are going to talk about building some admin admin ui for the swell kit and the next yes and then we will talk about deploying these things somewhere so you can also visualize these these things on some url i will share the api gateway url from the aws cloud after deploying it and we will also learn how we can deploy from scratch like let's say you just have a aws account and how you can get started deploying the react apps uh, next CS app and swell kit app and then how you can do the integration real integration about uh, or let's say we have a dev environment and production environment how we can create a dev microservices and deploy it we are not going to have a real world dev staging and production and we will set up a pipeline because we are using ci cd so we also need uh, some kind of a learning here required for the github actions because it's a single mono repo these are not 10 different repositories single mono repo whenever you commit we will deploy the target repositories target applications to maybe s3 cloudfront maybe uh, lambda edge or maybe nest yes service to uh, lambda or container so there is a lot we are going to cover after building a simple admin portal for the next CS and swell kit that's the next target and parallelly when i feel okay this is too much when i because i'm not good at building the uis and i feel stressed out after doing something then i will switch over to the microservices and will cover some videos so these are the two major set of set of videos you will see on the youtube channel okay for at least coming months uh so that's all uh, let's dive into building the admin portal for the next season swell kit and reuse our learnings what whatever we have done in our previous couple of videos building uh learning how next year's 13 uh platform works and how swell kit can be used to build an admin ui